by subscribing and leaving comments. that I actually saw were this one here, or, uh, which is the original Bigfoot that uh, a fellow named Jerry Crew took to the newspaper in, in Eureka and had his picture taken with it. Of course, uh, what he had was the, the other side. Mm -hmm. the, the what was cat. the date of that? That was in uh, October 1958, early, early in October. Yeah. And uh, there was that picture was in the newspaper in, in British Columbia in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. So um, my wife and I and another fellow went down there because we were already interested in these things and uh, had heard about casts made in British Columbia in 1941. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just and, wanted to see what it was all about. And this was made where? This was made in Northern California mm -hmm. in, in Del Norte County mm -hmm. in the valley of a creek called Bluff Creek. Oh, and, and that was a totally uninhabited area. There had been a few settlers in uh, the lower part of the valley at one time, but nobody was living there anymore. I see. And they were putting an, an access road through the valley, would eventually uh, was intended to reach Highway 199 coming from Grants Pass down to the coast. Mm -hmm. And it was to be used to open that area up for logging. So uh, this road was, because it was intended for a logging road, was following fairly close to the yeah. creek. Yeah. And uh, in the end, it turned out to be impractical. It slid in all the time. They put in another road up on the mountain, yeah. on top of the mountain, that would be more permanent. No, so anyway, uh, this this is roughly what Jerry Crew was shown holding in the photograph. Yeah. I was just wondering, yeah. what is this? Well, that's a rock that was uh, in the, stuck in the original mm -hmm. cast. The original. There's smaller ones here and here as well. Oh, yeah, I've seen yeah. yeah. And of course, that was one of the interesting things about it, because the first thing you think of is somebody with a wooden or other rigid foot. Yeah. But in order to be stuck in the cast, the rock had to be sticking up into the foot itself. Sure. And so it and well, like you that doing into a, a solid piece of wood. It's if it had been a pe yeah. piece of wood, it would have either driven the rock down where the cast wouldn't have picked it, it up, picked it up. Yeah. or else it wouldn't have made any impression around the rock because it would be hung up on top of the rock. Sure. So it had to be something soft enough that the rock could penetrate into it. And uh, I didn't see very many of these tracks, and I didn't see any any really good new ones. Because, uh, but anyway, they were certainly. Uh, you know, it was quite a shock to, to, to see what we did see. Sure. Yeah. At yeah. that time. Yeah. Great big Im impressions that you could. could your whole forearm into the yeah. into this track. Yeah. How long is this? this That's about? 16 inches, 16. roughly. A little, yeah. little more, probably. Mm -hmm. but of course, the tracks vary a bit in length. They're, they're never the exact image no. of the foot. They're a mark the yes. foot made. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, after we'd seen these, uh, we knew that a taxidermist in uh, near Redding, California, mm -hmm. had investigated them, and so we went to see him. And a few li weeks later, uh, I got a letter from him saying that he and another fellow had found a different track down on, in a sandbar in the creek bed, mm -hmm. not, not on the road at all. And uh, that was this track. Uh, and I spent, I 
I guess about two or three days down there at that time, we were looking, looking for more tracks. I saw where these had been cast. There were, he had cast the best four tracks in the sand, but they were more moving into a gravel area. Oh, yeah. You could follow them right across the bar. And on this occasion, you can see the, uh, the depth mm -hmm. of the heel and at the toes. And even here, it's very deep. Well, yeah. uh, and that was in a sandbar so hard that my boots we didn't penetrate at all. Mm -hmm. You could see the entire shape of the heel of the boot, but the sole didn't even didn't even have an outline. It was just yeah. just a flattened hmm. mark in the middle of the sole. Heel, toe, it just and, didn't leave and, much of a heel. And this yeah. thing was you know that deep. Yeah. So, and on that occasion of Bob had these casts that he had made. He also had, I'm not sure anymore whether it was the original or the or copy, but he had a, a version of the uh, track that Jerry Crew had cast, which still had the rocks in it. Yeah. And he took those, uh, those three casts and uh, just as I might do here, yeah. laid them down. And again, in this cast, there's a, a huge area there. If you poured plaster over that, mm -hmm. there'd never ever be any way to separate it. Right. So with, with those three casts, he filled all the way around with a soft clay-like material. And then he just made this, this one big cast over the top. So, you know, it just, oh, I see. Yes. Just made a big cast like that over the top of the three, the three casts of, that yeah. he had, so that I would have something to take home with. Mm -hmm. So there you are. <laughs> there are the uh, two of the fifteen-inch tracks that Bob had found, mm -hmm. and the. And a copy of the 16 inch Jerry Crew cast. Yeah. And of course, with that, I not only had a, uh, a cast that shows what the tracks looked like when they were in the ground, mm -hmm. although not, not so deep. You can see the outline around here where the extra, extra depth because yeah. of them being turned upside down. and. Mm -hmm. But uh, I've also got a, uh, a mold that you can make copies of the cast in. And this, see, that's a fiberglass yeah. copy that is, you know, quite accurate, and it's even pretty accurate on the inside. Mm -hmm. So you've got both the male and the female molds there, and the same with this one. So. These tracks, the 15-inch tracks, are the first ones that I saw that where they were really good tracks, and where you had this tremendous depth that you know we'd, yeah. we'd be guessing a weight of a, about a ton to, to do what uh, these these yeah. tracks did. And these toes were deep, dug in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We couldn't figure out those stubby toes. We mm -hmm. uh, we now have. Uh, you know, Jeff Meldrum, who's an expert in the uh, foot anatomy, is mm -hmm. saying that uh, there are actually long toes curled in, curled in. and it's yeah. the tips of the toes rather than the, than the bottom. Uh, of the, yes, you know, like this, yeah. yeah and that, so that these, these animals could indeed make a tracks with very widespread toes. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have any examples particularly of that here. Then in, that was it. These were in 1958, all, all three of them, and all in the uh, same valley in Bluff Creek in California. Yeah. If you're enjoying all this rare and unique content, Please show your support by subscribing and leaving comments.